Hey everyone, today in the Cooking Everything Outdoor Show, we're making burgeritos for Super Bowl Sunday. Your house, the Outdoor Cook, Cooking Everything Outdoor Show. I hope you try this at home. So what are burgeritos? Well, it's a hamburger wrapped in a tortilla. Hence the word burgerito comes from. Actually, I thought it was an original word that I made up. I thought it was pretty clever. Then I did a little research and guess what? It's actually a restaurant. So restaurant, you recognize bur burgerito restaurant wherever you are. Um, this is all yours, baby. I'm not stealing it. I just kind of coexist with you. I actually, I didn't have hamburger buns and I really didn't want to go to the store. So I went to my all time favorite food, uh, the tortilla. So I'm going to be making my Super Bowl burgerito on the Camp Chef uh, Big Gas Grill grill box. And this is perfect for tailgating and being out there at the game. Not that a lot of us are going to be able to make the Super Bowl game, but if you happen to be lucky enough to do that, man, this is the rig to go with. But I'm going to make it. It's in my backyard. I'm going to have this for Super Bowl, and it's going to be great. So that's what I'm using. Uh, other than that, you're going to need just a couple things. I highly recommend a spatula that has a long uh, plate on it. So we're making our burritos in uh, actually an elongated rectangle. rectangle. Uh, so this is great for flipping that. The other thing you're going to need is some supersized tortillas. Uh, these are what I like to use and uh, you can stuff a ton of food in this. Okay, so this is kind of just basic hamburger fare that I'm making. This is what I love in my hamburger. If I'm going to make one for any day of the week, this is pretty much what I'm going to go for. So what I have here is a just some, some ground chuck. This is actually about a 1585. Um, I know a lot of you like to go with the 2080, uh, but I just think that's just too greasy, though that fat is where all the juice is. It's your call. Go with what you want. This isn't a, a documentary on uh, hamburger making. So uh, inside my burger, I love to put a minced onion in there. And then on the outside, I'm going to be s uh, seasoning it up with some Bracero uh, steak rub. And I like this on the outside. It actually gives, helps give it a little bit of bark. It's got some really, really good flavor. Then I'm going to top it off with some green chili. I'm going to roast this just a little bit. I've got some really delicious pepper bacon that I've already cooked up, uh, some cheddar cheese, and some red leaf lettuce. And that's my idea of a burger. That's what I like to go to. All right, so let's take, I have just a little under a pound of hamburger here. And then I have my green onion, and I like a lot, green onion. I am stuck on green onion today. All right, somebody count, see how many times that happens. So I like to mix mine up. I like a lot of onion. This is just a basic yellow onion in there. Don't overwork your hamburger. I have talked about this in other videos. To work it fairly gentle. I'm going to break it up in half. These are going to be almost half pound burgers. So what you want to do, you've got to think of a burger that is shaped like so as thick as you want it to be but get some length on it we're going to pile the stuff on this burger with that um, in that burrito now you notice i didn't put any seasoning inside of the burger i don't do that uh, but i will apply a nice uh, coating of my bracero so there's that let's flip this one over This a good coating also. Let's get these burgers on. You see that spatula is just perfect for this. And I would even say that these are too wide, but that's okay. We're going to roll with this. So these look like they're ready to flip. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. So one of the things I want to do is take my chili and get that toasted up a little bit. And this is just so I don't have a cold chili in my burgerito. If you're adding cheese to yours, that would be a good time to put your cheese on. Okay, chilies are heated up. Yeah, a few grill marks on there. Not that we were looking for that. Let's get that right on top of that burger. Whoops. There we go. Okay, I think that is where we want it to be. And we'll let this one come off. I'm thinking I'm probably around medium. Maybe just a little over on that. And we're going to let that rest. And yes, you let your hamburgers rest. Now all I do is I place it right on the grill, let that warm up, and this really, I, I'm probably less than a minute to do this. Beautiful. That's it. That's what we want to do. Okay, let's build this bad boy. Now... <clears throat> Don't overcook it to where you can't fold this up and roll it up. And you want to take your hamburger that's been resting for a little while, and we're going to place it almost in the middle. Get your bacon on there. Get your lettuce on there if you like. And then take your favorite flavor and just spread it around. I like yellow mustard, nice and simple and basic. Now, you want to fold the bottom up, wrap these around. That is a burgerito. Okay, we're gonna wash our burgerito down with a Kona Brewing Company, Big Wave. This is a golden ale. See how we did. <laughs> this is Nirvana. This is incredibly good. Yeah, it's good. I'm happy. I'll see you next time. This is Gary House cooking everything outdoors. Love you, man. 2014 Super Bowl, here we come.